<clears throat> okay. Part four. The Bible's miraculous preservation. Finally. <sighs> Let's hear it. Because, you know, if this shit is really going to be enough to persuade me on video, and I put it up, it's out there. You can watch an infidel transform before your eyes. Or not. We'll see. Okay. <laughs> the Bible's miraculous preservation. Although the Bible is the best love book in the world. <coughs> Pardon me. I... <sighs> it is also the most hated book. I don't hate it. It's a bloody good read. It should always be available. I don't mind. <laughs> I don't care if it's in hotel rooms. I don't care if they have a BOM in my hotel room. Or a Koran. It's fine. I'll look at them. I've read them before, but I'll look at them. I don't hate it. I just think it's ridiculous to read it. I mean, I think it's ridiculous to believe it without having already read it just because people told you to believe it and read little pieces of it. Instead of just reading it, like you read a book, I was told, that's dangerous, don't do that. I did anyway. Look what happened. Sad. Don't hate it though. I don't hate the Quran. I don't hate the BOM. I don't hate the. I don't even hate the Bhagavad Gita. I don't hate it. No, keep it all. I, it's fine. But you got to put it in perspective. If you don't have a bias to start with, and you look at the shit. You're not going to buy into much of that, I don't think. You know, all of it. Anyway, uh, the Bible teaches things that are utterly distasteful to evil men. Oh, really? <laughs> okay. You know, like I said, I mean, this is propaganda, so I guess we're not going to get a balanced view so that we arrive at the truth. You know, the true truth. The real truth. And this is sad you have to say that. The real truth. distasteful to evil men, and many have rejected its message. Oh, really? Is that how it happens? <laughs> really? <sighs> Pray tell. It's not a rejection, by the way. It isn't exactly like that. It's a, okay, you didn't sell me. Among a whole bunch of other things. <laughs> like I said, be an original. Some have tried to discredit the Bible by finding its Supposed errors.
pray tell. Suppose it errors in it. Others have actually stooped to burning it. Well, I, I'm not into that myself, but I, I do have a paraphrased stash box. But it's a, it's a J-dub paraphrased Bible, so best use for it. I have several translations of the Bible, and I haven't fucked with any of those. Although I painted my Book of Mormon gold with spray paint and got drunk and read the whole book on video. And nobody knows about that shit. Just as well. <laughs> I was kind of tipsy then. All right. Um, <laughs> Sorry, I read ahead. <laughs> <sighs> Others have actually stooped to burning it and persecuting those who live by it. That's happening everywhere. Damn it! Fucking scary, man. Because <laughs> I have no beef with anybody. Honestly. Honestly, you can have your point of view and it's fine. This is mine. <laughs> it's all good. To me, anyway. <laughs> Thomas Paine wrote in the Age of Reason Fifty years hence, the Bible will be obsolete and forgotten. <sighs> oh, yeah. Could happen. <laughs> <laughs> they just have to replace it with some other nonsense, unfortunately. So... Let's keep this one, I guess. Who gives a fuck? Some people. And that's fine. Not so much. The very press on which the Age of Reason was printed was later... Wait for it. Uh, used to print thousands of Bibles. <laughs> Voltaire, the French philosopher, perhaps you've heard. <laughs> boasted it took 12 men to start Christianity. <laughs> the nerve of the guy. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Okay. We're still in the Voltaire quote. <laughs> but I myself will destroy it. Lacuni. Long ass Lacuni. <laughs> dot, 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 dot. Within 100 years, the Bible and all Christianity 
will be forgotten. All right, that was his opinion, and so fucking what? <laughs> I would never predict such a thing. We'll always believe some fucking nonsense. Let's believe the one we got already. It's fine. I'm just here talking shit because I got the First Amendment. You all love the Second Amendment, but there's the First Amendment. And that one's my favorite one, although I am a gun owner. It's cool, but I'm not, like, in love. <laughs> it's just a thing. Anyway, that's the end of what Voltaire was saying, and shame on him, I guess. <laughs> but within 50 years after his death, the uh, Geneva Bible Society was using Voltaire's house to press and produce thousands of Bibles. Wow. This is some heavy shit. Heavy shit. I won't tell you what kind, because you already know. Or not, maybe. <sighs> Lennon. Oh, we're not talking. We're not talking about the, Be the Beetle. The Beatles' front man. No, the other guy with less consonants. Uh, Lenin, who established communism in Russia. Hate on this guy. I don't particularly, but whatever. Uh, anyway, he said... See if I can see it. Uh, I expect to live long enough to attend the funeral of all religions. So what? Yeah, he said that shit, maybe. So fucking what? People say shit all the time. So fucking what? He was famous, famous and he said some fucking shit. Some of it was all right, you know, and some of it was that. <laughs> okay, let's see how far I get. Thomas Paine and Voltaire died hundreds of years ago. Thanks for telling me that. <sighs> uh, there it is. Lenin, too, has passed on into eternity. Eternity of oblivion? I mean, what do you mean? <sighs> but the Bible lives on in many centuries first wait in many countries for centuries even I'm I need to get my fucking glasses I'm not seeing so well <laughs> In many countries, for centuries, men were not permitted to own a Bible. What the fuck? We got freedom of speech, freedom of religion. Nobody's banning the fucking Bible. I've got several copies myself. 
I've read it many times. It's okay. It's a bloody good read, and I recommend it as a read. Start at the beginning. Yeah, you're permitted to own all the Bibles you want and whatever the fuck else. Honestly, so far so good. You can own all those things. Read them. All of it. Or not, whatever, I don't care. They were jailed, and even killed for reading and teaching it. That's some fucking shit. I'm totally opposed to that. Honestly, do your own thing. It's fine. I'm not mad at anybody. I'm just doing a YouTube thing. It's an excuse to occasionally indulge. I don't do this all the time, by the way. Only on camera. And a few other times, maybe. Yeah, that's some shit. They're being jailed or killed for teaching and reading the Bible. Or the other way around. Bibles were seized and burned. Like a lot of other books. <laughs> Even some people who like the Bible burned other books. Apparently, sometimes people are assholes. That's all. They're idiots sometimes, and they're brilliant other times, and it's all good. I don't hate anybody, anybody, really don't. Just having fun here. And who knows, if I get converted, I got it on video, and it's like scientific. And a whole bunch of people will join with me if this happens. I've got an open mind. But I'm being objective. No other book has been so chopped apart sifted scrutinized belittled criticized and despised yeah <laughs> <laughs> this is beautiful. I love this one. <sighs> I'm going to send this to a damn Scientologist. They keep sending me these self-posted return envelopes, so I always like to send them something. This one's a good one. Yeah, it's going in the post when I'm done with it. I only burn my junk mail from Scientology there. This one's going to some lucky Scientologist who's going to become a born-again Mennonite or Mennonite. I don't know. Uh, sorry, let's get back on track here. Men have again and again this really needs to be a song. <laughs> it really should. Uh oh, 
I have to get up to get more beer. Damn it. Men have again and again sounded the death knell of the Bible. They have preached. They're anti-preachers, though. Right? Never heard that one, but needs to be used. Common, common vernacular now. You know, anti-preacher, anti-reverend, something like that. Because <sighs> they're preaching, but they're doing it in reverse nowadays. And fine, I'll sleep in on Sunday anyway. <laughs> They have preached its funeral sermon and purchased the tombstone. I gotta get up and get some more beer. All right. Oh, press on. But somehow the corpse always rises from the coffin. and scatters the funeral procession. I guess so. Anything can happen, I guess. I won't be convinced, but it could be true. But I'm not convinced until I'm convinced. That's all. Sorry, no offense. <sighs> uh. The Bible is the Word of God. And He, He capitalized big time, will preserve His Word, because they're capitalized, of God. Capitalize. And He will preserve His, His Word! That's annoying, I'm sorry. But, you know, just follow orders. Forever. Quotation. Forever, O Lord, thy word is settled in heaven. End quote. Psalm. 119.89 Useful, I guess. I definitely need, need another beer right now. Uh, almost done. Uh, <laughs> oh, that's the end of it. That's right. Uh, <laughs> I'm done. Time for another beer. Anyway, stay tuned for five. It's going to be really annoying to me, but I'll have more beer by then. And I'm pressing on. Let's see if I can finish before I go into a coma. Let me know if you learn anything, because I really want to know. Stay tuned.